checking in with you today. It has been a very busy day. I've been working, so I do look like this, but you guys are getting used to that. <laughs> you probably think, oh, this girl only dresses up anytime on Wednesdays and Sundays and on the weekends. Anyway, I'm going to be making something of a new a bit of an experiment for us. Um, I had some chicken up in the freezer, so I've taken that out. It's in the microwave defrosting. I plan on cutting it into strips, and then I have some bacon, some thick cut bacon, and I'm going to wrap the strips in the bacon and pop them in the air fryer. I'm going to dip mine in ranch. I think my husband's wanting his in um, some cheese, but we're going to have some broccoli and cheese and I'm feeling a salad. I'm extremely hungry. It's back to one meal a day uh, for me today. So this is going to be the only meal that I'm going to be having. I have although had a snack and I'm going to show you what I had. See my dirty dishes over there? Not the ones over there. Those are clean. Those are the dirty ones. Um, Found in Alaska had put on, uh, I think it was on one of her Super Super Bowl vlogs that she just did, that she had made some almond flour cookies. So I decided, I'd made some before, and everybody said they were horrendous. They were so bland, like nobody wanted to eat them. Uh, so I did an adaption of hers, and I have had two of these today. But I just want to show you. They are so cookie consistency. Like, they are absolutely amazing. They're not the prettiest looking things in the world. But her recipe that she uh, that she called for, and I, I hope she don't mind if I share it with you. She didn't have anything wrote down, but it's a whole stick of butter, three cups of almond flour, two eggs. I did add some vanilla to mine. And also, she had said to do some uh, coconut. So I had some coconut flakes, unsweetened coconut flakes. And I didn't have any carob chips or chocolate chips. So I did have the 90% cocoa from Lint. So I took about half of that and I chopped it up and I put it all in there. And I added a little bit of salt to mine as well. I'm telling you guys, those were amazing. I did have to cook mine a little bit longer. But... Um, I did have two of those earlier today, like when I first started in at work. So, if you have the opportunity, try it. Oh, oh, and the sweetener. Three-fourths of a cup sweetener, which I used the trivia packet. So, I used 18 packs of that because there's two teaspoons in each pack. So, that came to 36 teaspoons, which was the 18 that I used. Nails are still horrible. Please forgive me. That's all right. It'll be all changed tomorrow when I have more time to get ready. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick intro there for you. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I have been going up in some subscriptions. Uh, also, there is some talk and some chatter on my videos, which makes me ecstatic. I love to hear from you guys. So I'm going to ask you guys to answer me below what is your favorite cookie and do you think it can be keto-fied? Um, I look forward to the conversation and, you know, respond to other people too. I mean, it's what it's all about. It's a community, right? So anyway, don't forget to also hit the bell notifications. I do do daily videos. Uh, sometimes they come out at weird times like the one that came out today. And for me, today is Tuesday. Uh, it actually posted at 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm not really sure why that is. But I don't think that that's a very good time. Most people like them more in the evenings and the afternoons. So um, I'll go ahead and set up the other ones for that. So that was very strange and very odd. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Start with my chicken. And I will take you guys along. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. So we can experience this new way of chicken together. So I'll see you guys in a few. Hey guys, I'm back. I went ahead and I got my chicken here. Please do not mind these nails. I'm so sorry. I hate this, but it's, it's all right. Anyway, I got my chicken already cut up and I took, it's just two chicken breasts and I did take four and four so we both could have four uh, tender tenderloin things here. And then I also have my bacon and this is like one of our favorite bacons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one slice of the bacon and I did put salt and pepper on the chicken. So I'm just going to wrap it loosely or not so loose that it's going to fall off or anything. But I'm going to wrap each one of these tenders. See? And then I'm going to put it into my air fryer, which I have right beside me. Now, I've never done this before, so we're going to see how it turns out. So, let me just go ahead and wrap this one. 
Oops. And normally I wouldn't show you guys this whole process, but I already have chicken on my hands and I'm not about to, to, <laughs> to touch the camera with chicken on my hands. So we'll just have to, to deal with you guys watching me make a, a mess of this stuff here. Okay, so there's two. And I don't honestly know if all these are going to fit at one time, but we're going to try. This one's a kind of a smaller one. Mm. Well, this one's going to be more bacon than it is anything, but hey. I don't know anybody that's ever complained because it's too much bacon. Have you ever heard say, it's just too much bacon? No, no. It says, no man ever. Okay. I'm just going to pack these kind of tight in the air fryer because I can always go back in and and uh, fix them up later. You can always stop it, you know. So we'll just do it that way. Okay. And there we got those last ones. And I guess normally if you're going to like bake these or something, you can always use like the toothpicks or, you know, something like that to keep the bacon on. But I'm packing them pretty tight in the air fryer. And I know that this is going to crisp up as soon as it starts. So it will be all right. And this could be a complete flop too. It could be like the most horrible thing in the world. Like great idea, but bad in execution. I don't know. So we'll figure it out though. You guys ever heard of people who don't like bacon? I didn't think those kind of people existed, but they do in the world, believe it or not. There are actually people who do not like bacon. I haven't met anyone yet that I know personally. But there are people out there. But anyway. So after I get these rolled up, I'm going to put them um, on to cook for about 25 minutes. That's what I'm going to do because they are wrapped in this bacon. I need to make sure that everything in there gets done completely. So this is the last one. Oops. And that one is not wanting to roll very well. It's all right. I'll get it on there. It don't have to be perfect. It just has to be on. Okay. I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay, guys. So, I'm back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put those in the air fryer now. I had to go wash my hands and do all that stuff. So, if that's why it quit abruptly. But, uh, let me see if I can get you guys a picture of the, what they look like in the air fryer real quick. There they are. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get these done. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when we get done. I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, uh, so the chicken is still in the air fryer. It's only got like two minutes left. But I wanted to show you my salad that I'm having. This is organic spring mix. I do have some tomato in there, some cucumber. There is some cheddar cheese and some ranch dressing again uh, this is going to be a one meal a day for me so I am kind of loading up so I'm having a salad I'm going to be having some broccoli and cheese too the chicken so far is turning out quite nice I did have to flip it in order for the bacon to get crispy on all sides but anyway um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when it comes out hey guys so there's my finished product it actually turned out kind of good so I got broccoli and cheese there, and I got some chicken breast wrapped in bacon. I uh, got butter, salt, pepper, and that's about it. So this is going to do it for me today. It's a very short video. 
like I said, I've been extremely busy. You already saw my salad. You saw this. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. I will see you all later. Take care and keto on. They say you're only